Okay, today we are going to show you the easy way to test glow plugs in your diesel vehicle. Um, this is a quick trick that mechanics use um, to test the glow plugs really quick and easily. You don't need any special equipment for this. All you're going to need is a random piece of wire. So we're going to show you how to do it, but first we will look at how this thing is starting. This is a Ford Courier, similar to a Ford Ranger. These things are real common for doing in the glow plugs. So we'll turn it on there. You can see our glow plug light. And then we'll hear how rough that is. And I've got my foot on the gas to get it going. probably a bit hard to see on the camera there but we are puffing smoke out the back and now that I've got the thing going and running it is running much smoother so let's jump under the bonnet and see how we can test these real quick okay so all that we've done here is we have removed the rail that connects the four glow plugs together um, because we want to be able to test them individually then all we need is just a random piece of wire. Um, so I've got a bulldog clip here actually holding the end of the piece of the wire to the positive terminal on the battery there. Okay, um, obviously need to be careful where the other end is while we do that. Um, if you've got your hands free, you can actually just hold that on there with your hand. I'm just using the bulldog clip because I have to hold the camera with the other end. Okay, and then real simple. All we're going to do, we don't want to touch this on an earth, that's going to give us a big spark. But what we want to do is just on the terminal on top of the glow plug there, just give it a little flick. Okay, so that one's got a bit of spark in it. Okay, so that um, glow plug with that bit of spark is probably all right. This one here, nothing at all. So that is a dead glow plug see what we've got further back that one's got a bit of spark and that one has got a bit of spark okay so we've got one definitely dead glow plug um, the others are probably on their way so we will be replacing all four and then we'll have a quick look again and see what this test looks like with four new glow plugs. So of course make sure your new glow plugs match the old ones including the voltage rating on them. Okay so I will just mention too that uh, this test can be done no matter how hot or cold the engine is uh, because we're not using the um, actual feed from the vehicle we're just going straight from the battery uh, we can do this with the engine hot. Um, if you're confident that it's going to be a glow plug problem, um, then it sometimes pays to do it hot because the glow plugs are easier to get out when the engine's hot. If you're struggling to get one out, then um, it might pay to put it back together and heat the engine up first. But we've got our new plugs in here now. And you'll see we'll get that spark on all of them. So it's not a great big spark like what you would get you know, if you set this thing straight to earth, which we wouldn't want to do anyway, because there's a fair bit of resistance in those glow plugs. But all four of those now have a little spark. So, I mean, normally you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't even need to check them because they're new plugs, but we're just showing you. So you can see what the new plugs act like. Okay, so if I did this test and all of these glow plugs had good spark coming from them, I could then uh, do a number of things. One, I could check uh, the individual current draw of each glow plug, okay, which um, I would put a multimeter on the amp setting in series between here and the top of the glow plug. I would then need the engine cold so it's going to feed power to the supply and I can see how much each one is drawing, or I could just do a draw test straight off the positive terminal as we're doing now. 
um, but the other thing to do is to check that you're getting voltage here and that you're getting it for the right amount of time, uh, that the time is not cutting out too early. Okay, uh, and then failing that, it does sometimes pay actually to uh, take the glow plugs themselves out and bench test them, which means uh, putting an earth around the thread and feeding power to the top straight off the battery or off a jump pack uh, and actually watch them heat up. Okay, you don't want to hold it on there too long and burn them out, um, but if you do it for a while, you should see how fast they're heating up. I actually had a vehicle once uh, that had been looked at by a number of mechanics. Uh, none of them could find out what was wrong, and when I pulled the glow plugs out, that was my first suspicion of glow plug problem. When I got to actually pulling them out and bench testing them, even though they drew current and did everything else, they were just slow heating up. So we put a new set of glow plugs in, started up, and uh, it, was, it was actually a really simple fix. So it does pay to do that bench test sometimes if you don't have any other problems. Okay, so here we are the next morning now, nice and cold outside. Glow plug light going. And we start up nice and smooth. Okay, I hope this has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe for more real tips from Real Mechanics. We will see you in the next video.